right, so let's get started. Our first job is to create a Steam Deck recovery USB drive. We're going to go ahead and download the recovery image from SteamOS. Link will be in the description below. And it's about 2.7 gigabytes, so it might take a little while. So we'll go ahead and download that. I've already done it, but that's okay. Next up, we need to grab Rufus, which is a utility to help us create said drive. We are going to actually grab the portable version so that there's no need to actually install Rufus. It'll just sort of run from whatever folder you put it in. Now we'll go ahead and run Rufus. It'll ask us if we want to get uh, updates, that's fine. Now, you're going to need a USB flash drive. All right, so you're going to put your USB flash drive in, it should recognize it. Then we are going to select the recovery image. And we will hit start. That's really all that you have to do. Now this takes a long time depending on what sort of drive that you have. I personally recommend that you use something a little faster than an old USB 2.0 that you had laying around. Here's the one I like. It does both USB-C and USB-A, sort of a flipper. So you can use it on your PC plugged into USB-A port, and then you could flip it over and use it as USB-C on your Steam Deck. So very versatile, pretty cheap to get a hold of one of these, and all you need is something that's eight gigabytes or better. It'll destroy everything on that stick. And again, as I mentioned, it's going to take a good amount of time. Now, it'll depend on how fast your uh, USB port is, how fast your USB stick is. This can take a really long time, so don't plan on being in a hurry to get this done. We're going to go ahead and skip past the writing of the image because, as I said, it takes forever. And we're just going to go jump into the boot up process and getting into the recovery screen. Okay, we're now going to power on the Steam Deck, holding down the volume minus button. We're going to tap the power. And once you hear the beep, you can release the volume down. And we're going to choose your USB device. Mine happens to be the Samsung one. Um, and the whole boot time is long, two minutes, 43 seconds. That's on a fast drive. It can be considerably longer if you have a USB 2.0. Now, um, uh, my screen's sort of distorted here because I'm outputting to my Elgato, but there's an icon on the desktop. Yours will look fine. It says terminal with repair tools. You're going to go ahead and run that. That's going to bring up a console window. From here, you're going to uh, type in the three commands that are included in the description. For those of you wondering exactly what this does, it mounts the partition. Then it goes ahead and it deletes both the normal and backup copy of the password file, essentially rendering your password nothing so that you can actually start all over again. So we mount it, we delete the primary copy, we delete the shadow copy, and then we are good to go. Now you can't really cut and paste here, right? Because you're sort of in a recovery terminal. So just make sure you type carefully. And you can always use cursor up to uh, repeat the last command and change it from password to shadow. And you're good. Now the console here says you can type systemctl reboot to reboot. It doesn't actually work as you'll see here in just a moment. So you'll want to go ahead and um, go ahead and use the start menu shutdown command and that'll take care of that. Now we're ready to actually just go back and set our password, right? It's cleared off now. So now we can reboot the Steam Deck and we will set our password to something we actually know slash remember. Okay, we'll of course run over to desktop mode. And we'll open our console. And we'll type in passwd. And then as you can see, New password and retype. Obviously, you don't see any characters while you're typing. That throws a lot of people. That's normal. It's a security thing. 
All right, that's it. You now have a password set that you hopefully remember. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks always so much for watching and take care.